Hi, it's Carolina Schmid. I'm going to be reacting to an umbilical and ventral herniation recovery. This is in the visceral approach and it's over a seven month period. So let's take a look at my client's film. So here she's lying supine. You can see she's having great trouble pulling in her abdominals, particularly above the belly button. You're going to see this shark's fin shaped ventral herniation. The ventral herniation is where the fascia connective tissue softens. Now the same client here is lying down on another visit and she's again having trouble pulling in her ventral herniation. Well, when she breathes in, she's allowed to expand above the belly button, but that's where we see that umbilical herniation. And later when you see her in a seated position here, she's on the Cadillac, her belly button is clearly visible as keyhole shape. That is an umbilical herniation. She went and had this medically verified. She has a ventral and an umbilical herniation. So the Next film is kind of cool. She's on a wonder chair. She's on a stability chair chair. That's the end of August, started in June. And again, you still see the keyhole shaped umbilical herniation, but she's lost a lot of the blood volume and fluid that you have for pregnancy in the organs. And you can see visually what's going on in her postnatal recovery. Now, in December, just recently, we had her doing standing side split and you can see her umbilical herniation now looks like a cat's butt. This is a testament, seven months journey of Pilates Swiss visceral uh, recovery and this beautiful ending shot of my client with this beautiful recovered navel. Please follow us, like, share. This is the visceral approach and this is the best way to train your local muscles.